Hull City make just one change today. It's a forced one as John Terrell picked up an injury in training. So Kevin Stewart comes in in a simple midfield swap. Everything else is the same from the 3-0 victory at Craven Cottage against Fulham. Keen Lewis Potter is a notable man on the bench. He gets to come in as John Terrell, of course, drops out of the side altogether. Jordi Device riding out. Elder. Jordi Device looking to find Bowen, who is a lot smaller than Ajay, but that certainly seems to be the plan in these opening minutes. Bowen being a real pest down that left-hand side. And Ajay forced to put the ball out of play for a throw-in. But Semi Ajayi, twice now, whenever he gets the ball and turns his back towards the goalkeeper and the West Brom fans, it's certainly an opportunity to press him. Elder regathers from the throw-in. Here's Grzycki. Not much room to work with, but it's cleverly played by Elder. Now Bowen. And Bowen has a go, but it is over the top. He's the man who's had both opportunities so far. That one was much more powerful than the first. But again, the same result. It just over the top of the crossbar this time. Another big diagonal ball. West Brom trying to mix up their passes. Furlong. Diangana. Livermore. Here is West Brom's 29 again. And Callum Elder can't do much more than that. He invited an opportunity. He won't want to do that again, Callum Elder. I think he just got himself in a little bit of a tangle as they look to try and actually prize the ball away in turn. And West Brom man was able to get in. Diangana. Pereira. Now Livermore. Pereira almost had the ball taken off him. West Brom have worked it well to the right-hand side. It's Fairlong's delivery. And Long almost got fingertips to it. He had to dive to his full capability just to make sure. But a great chance for West Bromwich Albion. Undoubtedly the best chance of the half so far. Livermore as West Brom looked to slow things down slightly inviting the midfield to come and press and well tackled by Lehigh Ervine look at Grzycki he's got space can he be found he can be found Grzycki's in on goal oh he's put it wide at first I thought Ervine wasn't even going to give him the ball but Grzycki tried to just tap the ball round the keeper rather than putting his foot through it but Hull City's greatest chance but question marks were where was the right back he'd gone AWOL well it's a short one and George Long is called upon a more audacious curling and powerful effort which George Long is able to push wide. Same plan, but from the opposite side. Oh, teed up to the edge of the area for Livermore to shoot. Brilliant goal. Jake Livermore doesn't celebrate, but the captain who has come back to the KCOM has just laced one into the back of the net to put the table toppers in front. His hands went up straight away in apology, but off the training ground, West Brom have worked that set piece delightfully. It's a brilliant shot. It's arrow-like into the corner, and West Brom are in front. Oh, Burke, a decent enough touch. Now Jordi Device, who again brings the ball forward. Elder, Irvine. Hull need a couple of chances, really, to spark their performance into life because at the moment they've had to do a lot of defending big tackle comes in by Elder here's Irvine Bowler not the best touch oh he fancies his chances Bowler shoots punched up by Johnston and then Bowen hasn't really got the height or physicality to prize the ball away from the goalkeeper Oh, 
Bowen's done so well to pickpocket now then. Hull City on the counter where they want to be. It's Bowler in the penalty area. Bowler trying to tee it up. But big save from Johnston. And then it is put in, but it will not count. Bowen offside. The goalie's blush is spared there. But Hull City on the counter proving when they get the ball into the middle, they can make things happen. Irvine did very well to actually get the ball into Bowen's path. The chance came as well. And then the flag was the only denial for Hull City getting an equaliser. Here's Lehigh. Oh, through the legs. See you later. Clever 1-2 as well with Bowen. Now Lehigh's in the penalty area. He's just lost his footing, but he's still got the ball. What a chance this could be. Kevin Stewart can't get his touch. The ball bounces up in front of him. If it's at his feet, you would have banked on him to equalise. Reese Burke. Oh, now taking the time, Hull City. The ball going back towards George Long, and then Burke gives it away in a really bad area to lose in the shot comes in it's not troubling but Reese Burke will probably not want to do that again as Pereira got it on the edge of the penalty area but he couldn't wrap his foot round it near enough to make it a difficult situation to defend he's gone for curve but he's really hit that with too much power as well and Lehigh inching forwards and looking for the options West Brom obviously plenty back. It was a clever touch by Irvine into the path of Eves. It's hacked away by West Brom. Picked up by Jordi Device. Tries to play it into the path of Irvine, who had plenty of men around him. Great tackle comes in from the Dutchman. And there's an appeal for handball, which is ignored by the referee. And Grant McCann led a very strong appeal from the touchline. But Hull now trying to come forward and West Brom just for the meantime sitting off. Good ball to Stewart. And still Stewart. Might fall to Bowen. These little breaks are going in favour of West Brom. Grzycki. He's able to win it back. And he's flirted it in for Bowen but it's cleared away by Bartley. Now West Brom looking to hit on the counter. It's a decent cross swung in, and Lehigh will cushion that one back into the path of George Long. A fascinating game, which is really well balanced. West Bromwich Albion are leading this fixture, but Hull City are giving them problems. We'll try and clear it. And they are their own enemy that time, West Brom. Here's Elder. He's managed to get away from one man. Irvine's going to be able to nip in and take the ball back. Stewart. Very compact front free. Stewart fancies it from range, but chances are going to have to be much better than that one. The hand up in apology from the midfielder because he knows he's wasted a good chance where Hull City could really have done much more. Leo De Silva will be the one sitting out of the three. Oh, Honeyman's first moments in the game is to give the ball straight into the path of West Brom. And he's quite lucky maybe not to give away a foul. Jordi Device leading the charge from the back to the front Grzycki now Irvine that's a neat through ball Grzycki oh he's been shoved over peels for a penalty and they will not be listened to by the referee Been made to work by Leo De Silva Here he is again, West Brom's number seven. Trying to make the room to shoot at goal. Sawyers, that's a clever through ball. Could be the moment. It won't be the moment. Dear Garner. It goes past the post. It may have even shaved the post. But that would have been the opportunity where West Brom would probably have wrapped up three points. It's a nice through ball, nobody tracked the man. George Long will be thankful. 
Well, with the absence of Josh McGuinness and Norbert Balog, Keen Lewis Potter is the only attacker left on the bench. Of course, with limited game time, will he be thrown on? Kravinovic, Pereira, wide of the target again. West Brom now trying to find the final hammer blow to really put themselves out of sight. Again, bit of space on the edge of the area, which has probably been Hull City's Achilles heel today. And you can just see from the body language and frustration of a couple of Hull City players. Just been given away in the midfield again. Now with Kravinovic. Livermore, neat football from West Brom. Lovely one-touch football, really trying to open up. A great attacking move, could be finished with a goal. Townsend into the box. And just about defended by Hull City. But footwork and movement like that deserved a goal. West Brom coming forward again. A delay to the cross. Oh, and just over again. It's pretty much everyone up then, as we are into the final seconds of normal time. Lehigh's delivery. Up go the heads. Device! Can't keep his shot down. We know he could score goals at that end in the crucial dying moments. But that time, his feet let him down. And there's just three minutes of injury time signalled as... We see the chance again. There's a yellow card that's been brandished. But what a chance it was for Jordi Device as the ball was played in. Nobody picked him up. Headed across well. A slip from Townsend. Couldn't keep his shot down.